I'm Matt. I'm Johnny. I'm Elliot. And welcome back to Halloween Fest 2014 with the traditional Resident Evil game in the franchise. This time we're tackling Code Veronica X. This was the... We're extreme! Yeah. <laughs> you can now find on the PS uh, PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade. I think it's also on Steam. I'm pretty sure it is. What is it on Steam yet? Uh, Nintendo. Figures. Right. <laughs> they need to get with it. <laughs> get with the times, Miyamoto. Welcome to your new home. Put it there. <laughs> this isn't gonna look good on the quarterly when you gotta explain this to the economics department. <laughs> okay, uh, we're here to inspect your building. Uh, okay, but don't go to the tenth floor. Um, it's we had getting, a little oopsie. It's getting renovated. See, <laughs> forcefully renovated. Oh, it's a good thing we managed to wait here, sir. Now you owe me five dollars. I'll give it to you later. Oh, I'll give it to the lighter. I can see outside. If I get the lighter, I can classify if he's a monster. Anyway, this here is a book that tells you how to function as yourself. <laughs> how to move a finger. X runs. X runs. Square confirms. X runs. Square confirms. Uh, triangle bows. <laughs> Don't worry about me. See that combat knife over there is like giving me the eye. <laughs> I like that knife there. I'm going to shank you with it. But as you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, Whoa. Uh, you know, this game did debut on the Dreamcast. Pretty graphically at the time, it was considered amazing. And also making a change here, we're no longer in pre-rendered backgrounds. Everything's it's full all 3D. Everything's full out 3D. Yikes. Uh, okay. We're no, going to no. have to take a look at the scene in special Dreamcast vision. <laughs> <laughs> you need those special glasses. Instead of, instead of red and blue on left and right, they're blue and red. Insert the fishing rod peripheral here. <laughs> Christ. I don't get the relevance. <laughs> Would you really have been surprised, utterly, if we had a Resident Evil fishing game? Holy shit, I called the Malakota! Well, technically, te yeah, technically we kind of do. Resident it's Evil 4. The Resident Evil, Ghost and Goblins crossover nobody asked for. <laughs> Resident, Sorry, John Ortiz. Resident Evil Ultimate Fishing. <laughs> I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. So that was Steve Burnside, colossal fuck up, utter jerk off, and point of the and two, five, two sub two, two, seven. Oh, oh, he makes me so angry. He makes me. <laughs> <laughs> and seven fifths of the reason why I fucking hate this game. Seven fifths. Seven fifths. <laughs> Jesus. Seven fifths. Jesus Christ, dude. Right, dude, right. St Steve Burnside is the reason your game goes on far longer than it fucking should. Pays to be a little safe. Pays to play it safe, I should say. Alright, let's see what we've got here. No! No! And now, it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with the reading. No! This room stinks of death. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Based on the information I found, I believe I'm far south of the equator. Information you could have gotten just by looking at a fucking globe and going, oh, that's over here. I think I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Bob below, Bob is in the bunk below him. He's one of those interesting types of guys, always looking for a scoop. Today, Bob told some crazy story of why he was put in this place with me. He said he used to be a tenant here until the boss went absolutely fucking batshit bonkers. What's going to happen to me? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. Guess what happened there? Ooh. Guess what? I've heard there's a rumor that once you go there, you don't come out. Go figure. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on in there? All I heard was some creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming like he was about to be murdered by guillotine in this day and age. Well, so we, that gives us a little bit of insight to the... They fucked with him. They left him alone. They left him last because he knows he has a diary. Yeah. They also took away headshots. Huh. Really? Yeah, if you blow somebody's head off with a Frenchie Spats 12, you hear the sound effect, but you don't get any satisfactory gore. Aww. Aww. Apparently something has been lost in the translation. No, it's because you're using a French shotgun and apparently they don't like blood. <laughs> no, it's the sensor gun. Seriously, it's a Spaz-12. The, the FCC came into play. <laughs> the FC cannon. Did they hear that? Yeah, but they won't break through. As I was saying. <laughs> Do it again and I will fucking kill you. Try me. Just try me. Make. My. Day. 
What does it mean? Threatened box? by a fucking <laughs> silver metal security box. <laughs> there, it runs along. And now, it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with... Our new product, the 3D Duplicator, consists of two parts, bull and shit. <laughs> Verify the content and add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. Paul Steiner. Oh, he's descent. Too bad his great, 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 great grandfather would be utterly disappointed at what he became. Paul Steiner? Yeah. Distant, distant, distant uh, successor to Ad Adelbert Steiner. I hereby apply for access permission to prison D because I'm a fucking doofus. New product sample for Metal Industries, TG01. Guess what we gotta find? Uh. TG01, this sample will be stored in a designated briefcase. Remember that briefcase that fell out all the way back there? Yeah. Uh. That's what we gotta get. Which is also covered in fire, so we gotta... <laughs> Son of a bitch. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. And Steve went off like a teenage emo with daddy issues. What was that all about? Yeah, seriously. seriously. Come on, you're fucking 22. Oh, you're in a prison. You got bigger problems. That motherfucker's exactly. 22. And take off that tacky ass shock collar. Yeah, seriously. This ain't Battle Royale. Please deposit God damn it! Uh. That's right, folks. The Hawk Emblem's metal. It's me again. Hey. I hope you got something to deposit in my security box. <laughs> <laughs> oh <Yeah>. my. <laughs> Put that shit in, bitch. Oh, this is a kinky box. No, oh, gross. Basically, if you don't find out about the, how the combat knife works, you're not making a far in this game. The what? The combat knife, what I got in my hand. Oh. I thought, I thought you said some di some different name or something for a gun. Like, what? <laughs> my, gun, my trusty combat gun. <laughs> I call my gun the combat knife. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I oh, loved you on Wall Street. Right. Oh, damn it. Oh. Hey, dogs. dogs are a joke in this game. Really? Damn. Thanks to the downward combat knife technology. Too bad I'm in a fucking hallway where this is not up in my argument. <laughs> you guys are a joke, trust me. You're gonna give me zombie rabies. Stop it. Zombie rabies. Yes, what zombie rabies. Like rabies. Virus and 28 days later. Yes. Now, Cove is one of those games I'm not gonna just. I'm gonna have to sadly justify my shitty gameplay, but Cove is one of those games I get my ass kicked in quite often. Yeah. So, I'm not like ashamed of using all my health items if I need to. Man, I think you've run it at this point, dude. <laughs> Hey, you know, all things considered, your playthroughs of Resident Evil 1, classic, uh, 2 and... Oh, no, I played 2 with Leon scenario, but... Your Claire playthrough in 2 and your Joe playthrough in 3 was pretty fucking substantial. Okay. So, you earned getting hit. You earned getting... You earned <laughs> yeah. the right to suck. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! Hey! I'm trying to think cool, something lady. stung me. I was just walking here, man! There, I think it was one of those bee bullets. <laughs> <laughs> What's a bee bullet, man? You know, when the pain... Remember the pain from 1963? No. Oh, Jesus Christ. You don't remember anything. History. I shot that asshole dead. Thank Excuse you for your continued support for using our products. This time, we have got our most advanced technologies. Like they weren't advanced already. And have succeeded in creating the unique anti-metal detection alloy tg one uh, okay. okay, so are we wearing a suit or are we painting ourselves in this? I think we're going to paint ourselves in it. We're wearing one of those morph suits. <laughs> Cannot be detected by any metal de detectors. Cannot be pictured by romantography at the immigration check. Lightweight yet durable. Perfect for those assassinations. <laughs> so basically, they chose to make a product to be another asshole. No, we started out technically in 2009. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. it was one of the first Let's Plays before I yeah. came in there. Frame. 2011 was when you started coming in, yeah. Right. No. That's when LP. Memories. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Less changed since then. Yeah. I'm bald. Guess <laughs> <laughs> I may as well get rid of this fucker. Hey, just want a hug. I'll give you a hug. Put her there. Oh no! <laughs> No, how about that real hug? Oh, I see. I can't store the mixed herb. Okay. Well, no, because it's not metal. Exactly. Too much iron. <laughs> Scanning. Scan this. You could turn off the alarm. I could. <laughs> you fucking jerk. <laughs> now, I know what you guys are thinking. Where's my Resident... This is Resident Evil. This is Survival Horror. Where's my fucking block puzzles? <laughs> Rest assured, here they are. Reasonable to use this time, too. Push this two-ton block here, which I'm pretty sure Claire can't really fucking move on her own, but fucking gameplay. <sighs> uh, push it over to fire. 
Suffocating the fire and granting you safe pack. Symphonia has made me sick of plot puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? That one just had a bad Friday night. <laughs> exactly. He's feeling a little under the blue weather. Oh, God. I don't remember eating corn. Oh. Yeah, that was right in your fucking face. <laughs> Boobies! <laughs> oh, great. Another crack shaped thing. I mean, octagonal shaped thing. Well, we can't go that way. No, that was hex that's a hexagon. Is that a hexagon or is that an octagon? Are oh. they sides with their six? If it's six, it's hex. Six is hexagon. Yeah, eight, eight is, is, octagon. is octagon. I remember that because of an octopus. Nine is a circle. Oh, no, kidding. A circle doesn't oh. have any sides. Hello. Welcome to the palace. Pal you know, there's something odd about that one. The palace of broken Every dreams? Yeah. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> My move! I play Monster Reborn! <laughs> Fun with the DD. Stand beside me, and together we'll win! Now, four years have passed since Bob sir began serving Sir Alfred, who is apparently a complete f who doesn't trust a damn soul. And even though he's even though Bob's his attendant, he's strictly prohibited from entering the private house. Guess where we're going? <laughs> they say he lives with his twin sister Alexia. Remember that name? In his private house on Haunted Hill. <laughs> Occasionally, I've seen someone standing by the window. Might have been Alexia. Might have been Alfred. I heard a really fruity giggle, though. <laughs> I want to say I started Alfred about this, but then it, but it only set him off. I imagine Alfred just, like, throwing his cat, hat, cat to the ground and stomping on it like Diddy Kong. <laughs> no! Even no! Though, even though I'm his attendant, he won't show me any lenience. Next time he could hit me. I'll kick his ass if he does that. <laughs> it's a mystery why he tries to keep his private life for the lecture a secret. Yeah, it really doesn't make any sense. So uh, if you die, you're taken back to the title screen? Actually, you get a continue system here. Oh, can you? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. I noticed because Hunter some fucking killed me a few times. <laughs> a simple lock indeed. If only you had a lock pick. I know. Fucking pedantic that Claire has the mail starting item in these games. That's true. Alright. I would have gone by the Master of Unlocking, but I always get sued. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, what's our ID number? That's one mistake I constantly make, even when Option. I Option! That's our number. <laughs> OPT, I Can you when. tell me vibration setting? <laughs> our identification card reveals NTC 0394. Handprint identification, please. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if we ever ran into a, a rat or a thumbprint scan, we're totally at. We're totally boned. Have you ever held on to an item when you didn't need it anymore? I thought I want at least one run of Resident Evil 2. I, I like the look piece. of it. My car keyed out. And don't you forget it. That's a creepy story. Okay, you, you can stop staring. I think you just took out the camera man with that. <laughs> a face like a shattered yeah. camera. Wow, these kids are really fucking bored. Yeah, seriously. See, this is what happens when you don't give your kids Game Boys, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so how would we do this? Mm, I don't know. The steering but I do wheel. know we need this. The steering wheel, of course. I'll refashion it into a pair of pistols. <laughs> oh, club! I'll give somebody a good one in the thinker. <laughs> I can imagine you get a broken steering steering wheel. You put it to the face and then honk the horn. <laughs> That's better than it should. They look like they have the same model as Hispanic dude. I already forgot his name again. Rodrigo. Rodrigo Juan Ravada. Just say Rodrigo, Matt. <laughs> you say the whole thing. Yeah, like, you gotta say the whole like thing. Yeah, don't you forget it. Well, with everything locked down tight. Yeah, practically like, what you should do. Like, we the, can't really get anywhere else. So let's use that, put that steering wheel to good use. And <laughs> drive ourselves to safety. <laughs> <laughs> drive out of here. Steamboat Claire. <laughs> Anything you attach to a steering wheel becomes a vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> let's take the typewriter home. <laughs> Throw it at somebody. <laughs> it's your yeah! least favorite action. Uh, Help what the, me! What the fuck was what, that? What was that? <laughs> Master Stockman, we must save him. <laughs> <laughs> I sounded like Steve getting kicked in the balls. Steve, did you bring 21 items to a 20 item express lane again? <laughs> no, he just fucking took the guns and he won't let him the fuck go. This is a matching game. Uh -oh. All you gotta do is press the two switches to match, which is a gun handgun and a magnum. 
if somehow you got a helicopter and knife, I'd fucking <laughs> need you. <laughs> Tell me your secrets and go away. Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it and I'm keeping it. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait, Steve! And with that, our game just got extended by about 20 minutes. Ugh. You fuck up. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> wow. What the fuck? Jesus that Christ. was Alfred Ashford. 10 pounds of batshit in a 40 ounce bag. Alfred is nuts. I got, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I got scared. You got scared from that? Yeah, I actually did. Elliot, like, you could kick his ass in a bar brawl. <laughs> Fuck rock of soccer robots, man. Yeah, seriously. That was so fucking distracting. I forgot I was going to tell Elliot earlier. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm distracted by all this damn ham. Nowhere in sight. By the way, I'm on a fucking uh, turnstile. <laughs> <laughs> this is Claire Redfield. <laughs> they would at least, like, you know, rotate with the character sidesteps in the classic one here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Resident Evil 2 came out on the PlayStation in January 21st, 1998. 98. Resident Evil 3 was... November 11th, 1999. A year later. Yep. And Veronica yep. was 2000. Yep. Wh wh where exactly 2000? Out of curiosity. I used the swipe and it got me choice genius. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back here. It's easy to dodge those zombies, so I don't bother killing them. Well, they were hugging each other, though, before you got to them. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> you know what we need with that lighter? An aerosol can. <laughs> nice. We're not Rebecca. Arson does not... We do not approve of arson. I'm sorry. Now we're heading into the military training facility. Hmm. Militaristic zombies? Oh, worse. Gun-wielding zombies? Worse. Sandworms. Mole people! Sandworms. No, mole people. It got to be mole people, right? Fuck. So then, you're back. Don't try and butter me up! Memo on the pass number. Hmm. The emergency door lock system can be released with a four digit passcode number. That digit number is one, two, three, four. I received an order from the system administrator to change the pass periodically. But what bothers me is that you have to lose memos, pass numbers, or even chemicals. And you got a job here! <laughs> <laughs> so, in an attempt to solve that problem, I came up with an idea. I decided to vandalize some art and put the number on there so everybody can see it. That's eliminating the real need for a fucking password. Take it easy, Mr. Careless. Uh, I, that just sort of proves how fucked, how fucking incompetent Umbrella is. No, we're gonna sign under an Indiana song. Forgot my hat! Damn it! You don't have a hat. Alright. I was almost a cut. Shut up. Also, uh, anti BOW spray or something like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but don't tell them that. And now we get the key with the tag. What's the tag say? Tag. <laughs> yeah, I am a tag. You're it. Oh. No, it, yeah, no, the tag just says you're it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I'm glad to have to go three months and one day with this outfit on. <laughs> She's got to have some bad funk. Yeah, nobody showers, nobody shits. <laughs> the bow gun in this game sucks. How so? One hour of rapid fire. Takes about eight takes about like takes more than like takes anywhere between eight and twenty hours to flatten a zombie. <laughs> that was one of the rare cases where it was helpful. It's a pretty big fucking margin of error. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to just shooting him in the head, man? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is a soda machine? What is a soda machine? Right there. What are they selling? And do they take Blue. bullets? Uh, it looks like shoe cola. <laughs> or shoes cold. Coke me. <laughs> if you want the perfect ending in terms of safe states, there's only one point in the game where you're allowed to save. And, really? that's, when you change, and that's when you change discs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. So don't save at all. Essentially. It's like how Shimigami Tensei does difficulty. Our demons will hit you a little harder and be a little smarter. That's not too bad. And everything costs about four times as much. Fuck! For real? I so want to enjoy this.
<laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the, that's my fake stoner laugh. Your fake stoner laugh, my ass. This dude seems like he's completely aware he's in a terrible plot. <laughs> like, what the hell? What the fuck is this? That was Bandersnatch. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, what? Bandersnatch. Basically, it's known as it's a monster that was co created as like a tyrant on a budget. Bandit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you're telling me that. Slap. Slap. I don't know why I find this so fucking funny. This boss ain't having enough of your shit, man. He's telling you to fucking stop. No wonder why he's called Bandersnatch. Is the, uh... It's the dual wielding at work and one of the problems of it. Ironically enough, I'm spread too thin. <laughs> <laughs> Bandersnatch is basically a tyrant that has a budget. Basically, it's a tyrant that has a budget. Uh, it's a tyrant that has a budget. It's a tyrant that has a budget. It's a tyrant that has a budget. If somehow you don't have enough, I don't, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. <laughs> Run. <laughs> see? You can depend on me. You see? This thing is a lot more reliable than any person. Dude, what? You can depend on me. See ya. Don't trust anybody. Except me. <laughs> you, I got your back. Later. <laughs> Oh, you got a trophy. Yeah, he's changed all right. <laughs> he's dead. So let's leave Steve here to mope. So Steve's father has... You okay? You deflating there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, dog. Hey, dog. Hey, Steve, I can use your help here! <laughs> father! You this clip. <laughs> I don't have the fucking card. Oh, damn it. That's okay. Right? Should be. <laughs> this is not the right way. Hey, this isn't Taco Bell. I had to go to the palace. Then let us go to the palace. See you then. Let's hitch the worm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi ho, Silver! <laughs> Where are we in Dune? Yeah. Did Steve actually empty out the the clips? Yes, he did. Fucking. Not you, Steve. He's a fucking. <laughs> you seen the Steve guy? Nice. He's a fuckhead. He's a real fuckhead. He's an absolute fuckhead. So what do we get from this door? A dark and stormy night. Not a goddamn thing! Essentially. Turn the computer on. It looks like it's already on. Not again. And of course that creep would use this for his screensaver. <laughs> oh, can... Uh, nursery uh, here. It's a bit conceited. Alfred's well, very Have you defense. seen this place? And I swear those two little figurines smooched. I, d I saw did. that. So there's plenty of incest. You again. Hey! No messing my computer. I just had solitaire on. You X'd it out. <laughs> you bitch. Now pay with your life. What are Steve's doing? Wait a minute. What? <laughs> is that? Is it me or does this look like a giant interior room? Oh no, it's, it's a building. I'm sorry. It's the walls outside. I'm sorry. I thought it was. We were still like a, inside a building. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> Played a trick on me. Dracula's castle beckons for you, Claire. Dracula's gotten a little girlier <laughs> since the last time, but uh, we can find some sort of compromise. And her name is Alucarda. <laughs> Alicia Card. Alicia Card. Caution. Still a caution, really? After all that? They don't. They don't hit for shit. It's just they're annoying. They're, they're adorable. What a mess, dude. <laughs> I, I misheard that as they're adorable. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. They're adorable. Oh, they're oh, so they're cute, cute with their so yellow jello and shit. Statues. They're gonna you know stash what? something, alright? You know what, though? I would be more terrified of these things if they didn't look like somebody vomited up cheese fries. <laughs> Such a card. What, Rita has a telegram. You're cordially invited to get your shit wrecked. I, I was gonna say, Rita has a singing telegram. <laughs> <laughs> I am the singing telegram. Blam. Don't mind me limping. I'm alright. It's just an arm sore. <laughs> it's a flesh wound. It'll go away. Slipped on it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, that pesky sleepy arm. They have to take. They have to spend some time climbing up the banister and climbing down them. Not that one. And they only cl and they only attack you when they're in their line of sight. There's one. So you stay near the stairs. This is a really impromptu way of going about it, folks. <laughs> You're yeah. actually reminding me of my knife only run in Resident Evil 4. This is how I killed the Iron Maiden. Only it wasn't with stairs. It was with a window. 
<laughs> I'm gonna take a guess. Claire can actually play piano? No. No? The Redfields aren't musically inclined. Chris is an artificial so you can always appreciate art, but, uh... <laughs> he can't make art. That's, that, yeah, exactly, that's as far <laughs> as it goes. He appreciates it, but can't make it. Tofer. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Explode one of the slot machines? That, you know what? I'll, that would be about 50% of the puzzles of Resident Evil could be solved with a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> Gambling is the problem. That took eight shots. Killed his arm. <laughs> Gave him an in affection he won't soon forget. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. That's what it looks like. Those little fucking asteroid lasers. <laughs> That's what it does. And the... No, I'm not going to say it. Say what? Mm -mm, no, I'm not gonna say it. I refuse. I'll just get that annoying echo that interrupts me. John, we can't continue unless you say it. They can read the video screen just fine. What if they can't read English? <sighs> and now, it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with reading. Today at 1632, I arrived successfully from the umbrella transport base with a large go BOW capsule. Extreme care was taken to our transport and all 108 points at ah, 108. <laughs> We confirmed condition what? green in accordance with standard procedures. Wait, what? We're so normally we just mentioned. 108 is usually it's usually signified with death. We are oh. or more like the supernatural than death. Yes. But we are normally assigned to special missions. Are we ordered to transport a frozen capsule? I mean, now granted, last time it was McDonald's and you weren't feeling under the weather, <laughs> but this time it was really kind of obscure. Burger Kong. This may be classified as top secret. <laughs> well, without knowledge of the consent, without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during the transport. Now, I know our brothers really lax with our safety and all that shit, but, uh, you know, a little clue here and there would be good, bud. Just give us a little more info, huh? You I know, mean, I remember the good old days <laughs> I spent training here, all the monsters and zombies and demons. Good times. Back when it was just tyrants, nothing else. Exactly. That's all we needed. I know. <laughs> and nowadays you got, like, a lot of pussies nowadays. I swear, a little towel snapping against these boys and shit. <laughs> yeah. I now imagine Hulk in the shower room wh whipping towels, but he still has the helmet on. Yeah. So you don't see his face. <laughs> Lady Hulk. <laughs> yeah. Actually, why don't you say we guys we call it a session here? Okay, okay. Because we're going to be doing a lot in there, and I'm not sure what the next save point is. <laughs> and I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not clear. The compass has been going in circles for the last five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised I got this far. She has the same blood type I have. Even I'm surprised you even know your blood type. I yeah, don't, I don't commit. Yeah, to I'm O positive. You're O positive? Yeah. It's not like a really rare one. It's one of the special ones. Yeah. You're special, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> Is he even still alive at this point? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's Enrico. We're talking about Rodrigo. <laughs> His cousin from the south. Not yet. There is hope yet. <laughs> Ow. Those things always manage to kick my ass. It tastes like ouch. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna swipe the dogs. With the card. <laughs> Read this. <laughs> Oops. Fire. Oh, what the f <laughs> no, that's fire. fire bad! <laughs> fire indeed hot! Clang. Clang. Thank you, Steiner. What? <laughs> Don't fall asleep now on me, Elliot. I wasn't even falling asleep. I was actually, I know, I was actually falling the ladder. <laughs> it did look like he was nodding off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what kind of gun do you need for that, then? Your regular handgun? You'll see you later. We better. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to waste my time with this shit, Matt. <laughs> I've had enough of your shit. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, I think I missed something, too, by the way. What's with the lion head? Hiding bullets. That rapscallion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me that salad, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and now, it is once again time for Elliot! fun with the reading. Albinoid? The Albinoid description. <laughs> <laughs> a creature which is created by the injected T-virus into the genes of a salamander. I would have expected a rhino. Dex. Similar to normal amphibian. Yeah, it's and kind of got a white coloration like a little. No, it looks like a fucking it vagina. Has a, has a vagina. It has a vagina. It looks like a vagina. It was like, you know, a giant tail thing at the a bottom. A phallic symbol with a vagina in the back. When young, an albinoid is small in size, but it can grow over 7 feet in a very short time frame. 10 plus hours. Damn. They possess high mobility and are able to discharge electricity. Eh, whatever. Yeah, it's right. discharge is like electrical base. It's, it's boss with electrical attack. It's a stingray. Yeah. Nice way of putting it, Elliot. Well said. 
Army proof. That's the second of three. Army proof. Army if strong. If I wear this, I'm immune to the army. <laughs> <laughs> I'm immune to anyone. Sure, Claire. Let's go with that. I'm not pretty sure we were already on the basement floor one. First floor. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. <laughs> oh. Fuck you. Yo. Fuck you. F fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, I wrote you a song. What? It goes a little something like this. Fuck you. Ooh, they talk back. Sassy zombies. Sassy zombies. <laughs> Damn it. So I'm going to take a guess that he becomes buddy-buddy with you? <laughs> My arm hurts. <laughs> now I know how Rurugu feels. Maybe I should just have a static. Fuck him. <laughs> you, oh. What, you thought I was going to let him eat me? Fuck out of here with that nonsense. Well, for a second there, I thought I said I can't open it as in the door. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> the lockpick! <laughs> so yeah. he's the master of unlocking. In he, he passed this title down to you. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get a fucking achievement for that. <laughs> oh, that was good timing. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Now we can all pull. Oh! Oblin. What? <laughs> now we can Oblin do flamage. <laughs> Remember that door looming case? Yes. One of a few. <gasps> I know, Melly, and my pants are tight at the thought. Mine are wet. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could do a retro joke, but actually coming? Oh, no, that's going too far, <laughs> good sir. You can't even aim at it. It's locked with a padlock, but there's a way out of it. With the accuracy of Police Chief Wiggum. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> After you. Well, we shall definitely consider doing a jump cut in just a few seconds here. Let me get my editing tool ready. Okay, I am ready to <laughs> jump cut, and here- oh. You're an ass clown! <laughs> <laughs> Fine, bore our viewers. <laughs> yes, bore our viewers with ten seconds of going down an alley. <laughs> Remember that door way back when that was blocked off by a door? No. By a box? No. <laughs> <laughs> zombie poverty. For just five cents a day, you can help these zombies. <laughs> Donate your brains. You're sure it's all not using them. <laughs> we should still see what's in the case. It's just bow gunpowder. I know, I leave nothing to the imagination. <laughs> you mean gold diamonds, right? <laughs> <laughs> Klondike bar. <laughs> what would you do for a Klondike bar? Lock it in a safe in a safe suitcase. Not again! And now it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with reading. There's a demon in my mind. <laughs> I can't control the first impulses the demon sometimes tries me to act upon. His name is Mayor McCheese. <laughs> He's everywhere. Oh uh, yeah, fuck's sake. <laughs> It is a brutal ceremony. With the demon next to me, I enjoy watching people agonize in pain, screaming and compulsing repeatedly as they die. This may be the reason why I ended up here instead of a real hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Sir Alfred was kind enough to acknowledge me as giving me the facilities, chemicals, and equipment necessary to study everything. I had to turn off my immortal soul, but as I said before, there is a demon. I must never betray Sir Alfred's kindness. Ugh. It is especially critical that no one discovers the secret place that only he and I know about. I swear the basement of this medical building must be kept secret <sighs> right like this! I don't know! <laughs> I keep the key to the secret place with me at all times. Even if an outsider sees it, they'll never be able to tell it is the key. My life ends when I lose her Alfred's trust. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, take, a, the, I'm gonna take a guess that the one... Oh. Alfred was an... And Alfred okayed this. Well, of course he would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna happen, and I'm gonna take a guess it deals with the body bag hopping around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the body oh, bag gets up as an enemy. Claire, you have been selected by me and the demon beside me to participate in the yearly sack race. <laughs> so let's it, see what's down in the basement. At least it did. Ow! Oh, oh, right, Ooh, right in the face! Face full of bat dick! <laughs> <laughs> Bat dick! <laughs> Cut your ass! <laughs> my, 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 my just, si just sign your name on Don's right butt cheek! <laughs> 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 Initial here! <laughs> and date here! <laughs> oh no, it's the 17th! <laughs> <laughs> 
This is also horribly implicating, too. An Iron Maiden? Yeah. Just think, somebody was in... You put somebody in there, then you spin them around and leave them there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. That hurt, you jerk! <laughs> put it back in! Put it back in! Close it! Close it! <laughs> so wait, where are we going now? We're going back to the palace. So we're cut, are we? You know, let's not cut, because... <sighs> That's a lot of ground, ain't it? Let's not cut. Alright. <laughs> let's okay, not, but uh, say we did. <laughs> <laughs> to, like, Alfred, it kind of seems like it is. Alfred would get off on this kind of shit. Well, Alfred's pleasuring palace. Because <laughs> he's crazy. With a W. Not an R. Okay, crazy with a W. Crazy with a oh. Yeah, he's crazy. Alfred's Palace, where you die off and I get off. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost coming back to haunt your dear brother. Wesker? But seriously, where did he come from? Like, he was over there. Wesker's no. <laughs> back. Wesker's back. Yeah. Now he's pretty much a monster. Uh, hey. Okay, then. Beyond the Shades. Wait. Beyond the Shades, a Wesker side story. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie I categorize as someone who is mindless and only wants num nums. So middle schoolers? Middle school. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Well, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit my ass down and let Chris do all the work. <laughs> oh, I consider that a cheap shot. That was bullshit. What are you gonna take care of? I get cheap shot too, oh. asshole. Take that. <laughs> and Ow. that. And some of this. Take you in the schnoz. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll deal with them on the trip back. We're going back? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this place twice. Oh my god. Hi, Joe's Meal. <laughs> Where'd we go? When'd you get here? Oh boy, we gotta find the music box music. Woo! What? Oh my Another god. fetch quest. Uh, uh, Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I now have the biohazard key card. This should be able to unlock this. Cut. <laughs> uh, damn it! <laughs> you remember the room where we uh, got the army proof? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna side with Elliot here now. I know. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it all bleeds together after a while. What happens if you get it wrong? None. Die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Access denied. You, 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 you get two big ass logs come onto your head and you and you die. Access denied. You gotta wait for the confirmation email of an account you do not own. Oh my god! Son of a bitch! And now it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with the reading. Message to the new family master, Sir Alfred. Congratulations on your succession as the master of the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earth <laughs> with an earthenware vase. According to <laughs> the Ashford family tradition. <laughs> Who writes out a snicker? <laughs> <All right. laughs> As you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup to the commemorative of Veronica, founder of the Ashford family. Her intelligence and beauty are legendary. As is her craziness, I guess. Wait, a founder of a family? Yeah. Second and third masters, Stanley and Thomas, were presented with similar teacups. They already hoped to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> exactly. Then it went from Sir Thomas to Sir Arthur... Which I'm convinced is a fucking reference to, um, Ghouls and Ghosts, I don't know why. Then Sir Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> that your grandfather. That was when the Asher family enjoyed its golden age and began Umbrella Incorporated. But, when Sir Alexander succeeded, the family began to sink. So, the Asher family regains its glory and guidance just as his face continues to shine eternally. Thank you, Scott Tenerman. Thank you. Why a lecture? What the fuck's wrong with Alfred? Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> what? What's wrong with Alfred? That was the dumbest <laughs> fucking question I've ever asked in a Let's Play. I thought that was a Pokeball. Clearly the biggest thing wrong with Alfred is his shit aim. <laughs> this is the kind of music you do not want to be hearing when you're strolling down Center City at night. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> or, um, I think I'll go to Rittenhouse Square. On second thought, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> the music fittingly here. <laughs> this is zombie slaying music. If they can hear, the, yeah, they probably do hear the ice cream truck in the back. <laughs> wow, what a fucking time for that ice cream truck to stop! I know, yeah, right? seriously, let's get your crack cocaine here. <laughs> <laughs> Where must we make? They must be. They better be making a killing out there. <laughs> I don't know what's worse: the fact that this is playing right now directly over the 
directly now, or the fact that it actually fits. <laughs> <laughs> I apparently butt dialed the wrong number. How'd you butt dial? I don't know. It's probably in my tight pocket. Yeah. <laughs> How do you butt dial on a smartphone? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh no, not that. What? I just had a horrifying thought. You butt dialed something, and say someone did pick up. Did you just fart like five minutes ago? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> I think I'm talking to Chewbacca. <laughs> Did he sneeze? <laughs> it just immediately ran through my head. Wait, I can't think. You dropped the controller. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, I laughed so hard I couldn't see. Alright, Matt accident Matt had his phone in his back pocket. And we had to pause the game because apparently he butt dialed someone. And that's really rare, especially with a touch screen phone. Yeah. You know, you butt dial someone. But it, it this happened to happen did you get a timer on that phone call? No, I just saw it, it was like um yeah, I wish there was like some sort of sort of time on that, but you know, just to, for the sake of giving you guys too, too much information, Mark, uh, Matt did kind of unleash a serious big <laughs> fucking fart, and I like to think it happened after he butt dialed, <laughs> and I just imagine some secretary on the other side of the phone wondering what's it's the cruelest fucking prank call I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh my god, and I laughed so hard I ended up losing my sight for a minute. <laughs> oh shit, I'm so sorry. Do we have to take the wings off? You have played this game before, you fibber. No, more like I thought it was pretty, uh... Obvious, yeah. Pretty obvious. <laughs> now it's a laser pointer. <laughs> <laughs> Attaches to your gun for a laser side aiming. <laughs> Do you think Alfred still tries to ride that? Yes! <laughs> it's the whole reason it's up here. And a perfect working condition! <laughs> I totally want an image of that now. <laughs> <laughs> and now... It is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with reading. Alexia is a genius with unmatched beauty. Everything to me, I will overcome any obstacle and willing to risk my life for her. Yikes. Ugh. Apparently, Alexander did some real serious damage to the family lineage, as mentioned by the memo we found earlier, so... Apparently, this is here to restore the family name. How do you like that? A family acting out of hurt pride. Hmm. Once that's been achieved, I'll build a palace where only nobles may gather? Nobles? Like, seriously, what is this kid's idea of society like? A fucking nine-year-old storybook? If everyone's a king and queen, nobody is. Exactly. The purpose of my existence. Huh. Huh. And now, it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's Fun with Reading. And check this shit out. A ten-year-old girl genius graduated from the top of her class from a prestigious university. The International Corporation Umbrella Corpor Chemical Incorporated offered her position of head researcher. No wonder why they're fucking yeah. incompetent. They're all by ten-year-olds. Yeah. It's they hired a ten-year-old girl as a head researcher. <laughs> Jesus. You stupid alarm, you're... Overdrowning my save music. <laughs> Fucking worms. That empty extinguisher is going to be the savior for us, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> the extinguisher. The hero we need. The inanimate carbon rod equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> An extinguisher we trust. <laughs> it sounds like there's a bird, man. It's pretty fitting considering who the fuck uh... Well, you should be able to write. <laughs> what? You should be able to relate. <laughs> All your fucking bird calls. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. But you're right. <laughs> yeah, son of a bitch. Give me a hug. <laughs> of course there's a fucking self-destruct system. What do you think the alarm was? Intruder alert? <laughs> uh, who's gonna come? The fucking authorities? We gotta get to that airport. I can't call it the authorities. I just broke out of prison. <laughs> I am the authorities. What do I do? <laughs> oh, it's just predicting 500 out of 1,000. Is something supposed to happen? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Claire, Claire's just staring at him. Claire's like, when the f who the f why the fuck am I still with you? In the classic Resident Evil, whenever you turn around, they at least have the notion of moving around. Here, we're gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock till broad daylight. Leave that to me. You stay here and make the preparations for takeoff. I know all about this shit. I covered wars, you know. 
Hey, that was a Capcom game, too. And what we might consider doing for next year. Dead Rising? Mm hmm I like the games. <laughs> I like Dead Rising. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, I know it's a Wednesday. <laughs> Today's Thursday. Shut up, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> no! We need a key! Uh, <laughs> the three in in indentations here for three more medallions! Yeah. Oh, that was so generous. Right? Like why a, do you think? It, I, I know why, I just, you know. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> shut, shut, shut your pie hole. Shut your fucking fat. Fucking face, Matt. <laughs> We're supposed to be incognitus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a tyrant. Of yeah, course. this one was modeled after Mike Tyson. Really? What? Look at it, it's got boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, that's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is just getting ridiculous. Now? Well, I just found an excuse to bring back the Nemesis Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Go Veronica is really stupid, even by Resident Evil standards. <laughs> Th that grouper has no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> oh, fuck. What the? No, what you're about to see is bullshit. That's this alarm. I'll go back and check it out. Alarm. <laughs> no, the alarm sound effect. <laughs> Elliot is sad. Uh, I think uh, Eggman raiding the uh, prison island base. Yeah. Oh, God. System alert. Someone's S saving. <laughs> <laughs> what the? How? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How? Yep, keep asking. This game ain't gonna tell you. <laughs> oh, ow. Your head clearly clipped through the wall. Ow, oh, you died. Oh, you died. First death in Resident Evil yet. Really? You yeah, died. You're right. Try again. You did, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you what happened, Claire? Bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> I had this strange dream that that tyrant somehow managed to get on board the My plane. life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> And you were there, and I was there, and then she points at the tyrant, and you were there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and you were threatening? <laughs> Alfred, cross dressing freak! Well then! How dare you! I was not going to a few tea and Oreos! Tell me, I'm, I am not a you, a female sheep! How dare you! Meanwhile, Steve here goes into Super Creep. Uh. She's sleeping. Steve, what are you thinking? No. Steve! No. no. For the love of God. Punch him! For the love of God, punch him! Well, let's split up and find another way off this oversized freezer. Right. Okay, let's do it! So with that, we are now left to be all alone. Well, I guess we know where, where the last Resident Evil movie took place. In Antarctica. Mm, yep. <laughs> no safe places this year. No places to hide. No. That's an excellent tagline. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He can't get to you. But there's a briefcase in there. He's not even supposed to be we'll, here we'll, get, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> oh, it was day off the poor fuck. Yep. <laughs> Uh, assuming you're, um... You know, Feel nice, free to get... Oh, ooh, nice, sweet. Nice dodger. Uh, totally accidental. <laughs> <laughs> totally unintentional. My regular bullets, which I'm going to want to use again. And my trusty extinguisher. And my handy-dandy notebook. <laughs> you said it, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, it's a... I was close. Come with me, Claire. Come, we'll journey together to Asgard. Up yours, D.I.J. Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Embrace the fear, Claire. I can't... <laughs> It is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with Mike. Shut the everlasting fuck up. So, Alfred, I gotta get the fuck out of here because you are <laughs> batshit bonkers. That's the letter in a nutshell. <laughs> and now, it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with reading. 
Alexander's memo here. Basically, Edward found the mother virus in cooperation with Lord Spencer and studied it for the purpose of military use. So to camouflage that, they built Umbrella Incorporated. However, Alexander was a bit of a dickhead compared to the other three, so he wasn't really going to do anything astounding, and the family got declined. <laughs> His oh. hat goes off. Hats only off to the, Only the finest details in Code Veronica. <laughs> Hats off to that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eggerdine! <laughs> Sorry. I love that. Several bad puns later. Look at all the Rodrigo's. Yeah. How old is it the last time you said I was wrong? <laughs> like how I was thinking of Enrico. I'm still, I'm still trying to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> but now we need a heat. And I just gave up my lighter. So, we'll be back. I can't breathe on it? <laughs> Come on, I'm serious. No. The barcode sticker. That's what we're here for. The barcode sticker. Yeah. Coupons! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys! Save some good deals on those magnums, stranger. Ooh, hunters are on sale. I would not be surprised if you saw that shit on the like, uh, fucking Umbrella Corporation eBay. <laughs> Umbrella Corporation. Hunters one ninety nine. Yeah, there is a time to do that. Oh wait, that's right. I got to go over there. Umbrella Corporation finger hot catalog. Exactly. <laughs> oh, dog! I see. The dog just wait, comes up. Hey, that's not nice. Good spot for it, though. The dogs talk to you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, we didn't cut. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're an ass. Not an ass. We had discussion. Okay. So, you're an ass. <laughs> I do it out of love. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you, you pussy. <laughs> oh, it gets fucking dumb and... Oh, I need to <laughs> there you are. There's the third dog. We're looking at a cut and cut away <laughs> thing, like you're just seeing her butcher. It's like a music video. 80s video. <laughs> it's like one of the, it's like one of those ASPCA videos. Oh Christ. Jesus with the Christ. sad with the sad music playing. The one that you see every morning before you go to school. <laughs> Fuck you. Like thanks for ruining my day. Yeah, really. <laughs> Get away from me, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of a bowel movement I once took. Broke the toilet bowl too. We had to call in the pump. We had to call in the technician too because I'm not a technician. We had to call in a plumber because a technician. <laughs> Let me call the IT department. Listen, I have a clogged toilet. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is my part-time job. I'm really with Verizon. <laughs> that spider hug has enlightened me. <laughs> you know me, temporary amnesia. In case of sudden amnesia, so insert spider here. Hug your local spider today. <laughs> so that's the poison. <laughs> By the way, I like to point out, I think this scene here is another one of a classical Burnside fuck-ups. Steve, watch out! You fuck up! Hey, I wrote you a song! What? It goes a little something like this! You're a bitch! Uh, oh, you're a bitch, a bitch, a bitch, a bitch, a bitch! How old is Steve? Well over 20. I don't know the exact age, hmm. but I will tell you this. He's old enough to have passed puberty and start thinking. He's well over 20, acting as the age of a 15-year-old boy. 13. 13. 12. <laughs> no, 12's th 12 is like the intermediate stage between cooties and... Hey, she's cool. You believe in cooties in the age of 12? No, I'm just saying. Steve probably did. <laughs> I just never believed in cooties. Yeah, never did, did I. I'm a cootie atheist. <laughs> what if cooties, since now that we're 23, is just herpes? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> they, had to, they had to derive from something. It's not cooties, it's syphilis. But heard his parents one day and just spread the word. Oh, Christ. Where are the cooties? <laughs> well, we don't know that. Maybe they're all gone. It's Antarctica! What? Have you ever been to Antarctica? Have you? Oh, Have I you? That, I thought that was a zombie with a top hat. We there can't say. <laughs> I think our time with Claire may be coming to an end soon. But that said, we got us, we got some item reorganization to do. That's it. We're gonna try and attempt to get out of here and avoid eye contact with Steve. <laughs> Preferably run him over. Because the next time he looks at Claire, the base just might blow up. Oh yeah. <laughs> next time he looks at next time he looks at Claire, the base drops. <laughs> just drops down. <laughs> to what hell? <laughs> Crossing the guns! 
So that's the purple stuff that's next to the Sunny D. Yep, poison. <laughs> I knew it. For toasty. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, look at the glass I full. And Chris is now climbing the aggro crag. <laughs> oh, he's fighting for America. The brave, the bold. Oh no, he lost his safety harness. <laughs> and Bo is out on a smoke break. <laughs> a permanent smoke break. <laughs> Ah! Gee, couldn't you at least die with a bit of dignity? Apparently not. <laughs> it's like watching the first few seconds of Parasite. I've never seen that. Alright, Matt, we got quite a bombshell. Uh, yeah, remember all... that gold form? Well, besides that, I don't care about Rodrigo anymore. Aww. Thanks uh, for all your shit, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she had the disease like um, Mr. Freeze's wife did? No, we'll find out later. I'm just making speculations, Matt. Damn. <laughs> Something satisfying about that sizzle. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Got you, bitch! I won't need it anymore. Take that. Mandola! Wouldn't it be some shit if, like, if, like, the lighter got lost in the in the worm? He, he was like trying to find it. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Mini game. <laughs> now, we're going to play with my pistols for a while. Uh, let me rephrase that. <laughs> Chris is getting tired of all this backtracking. Already. <laughs> what are we talking about? It's exercise. <laughs> the key is it to go over the ocean to Antarctic. <laughs> well, the Australia. Becomes a, the yeah. elevator becomes a pla uh, like a, like a jet craft. Yes. Like those platforms in Metal Gear Solid 3. <laughs> the government promised us hovercrafts. <laughs> <laughs> the Damn government it. promises a lot of things. Oh, so you got the acid rounds. What is with you on improper pronunciation? The acid. <laughs> you guys in the mood for, ch for some chipotle? What? Chipotle? Chipotle. Ch chipotle, oh, okay. <laughs> I said the same thing, too. What the Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you said chipotle? No, I said chipotle. You said so what chipotle. happens when you, you know, pronounce shit phonetically? Somebody slaps you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Aren't you my pet spider, Steve? <laughs> Alright, now we gotta head down the stairs. Hey, Chris, he's skipping steps while going downstairs. Such a man. Back up the stairs. <laughs> Fire scares me. <laughs> Fire, Fire indeed. Fire hot. bad. Fire's hot, Johnny. Matt touched the fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, granted, he Chris says flame on asshole in Resident Evil 3. Not 3, 5. five. What the fuck? <laughs> when did I play as Res Chris in Resident Evil? Um... Uh, you're one of the people that write those April Fool columns at EGM. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Elliot spent spent years in front of Resident Evil 2 trying to get Akuma. I did believe that too, though. <laughs> Why did you believe that? <laughs> Because I was a Resident Evil fucking twat, you know? But I, didn't, I didn't even think. Because I didn't know better. You know, it was, it was Resident Evil's Capcom, Street Fighter's Capcom, therefore the two correlate. Makes perfect sense. And who would want to kill zombies with Akuma? <laughs> you're a Resident Evil twat? That's the bluntest thing I've ever heard somebody <laughs> describe themselves as. Okay, you're a twat. You see that thing up there? What? The floor oh, is that's light. light. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to remind Umbrella that somewhere out there, somebody's still paying for the electricity bill and all this thing, or they just shut it down after a while. Taxpayers' money. Yeah, figures. Oh, I see. I guess the bills. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think she woke up? She's had enough of this shit. Come on, you wouldn't like the idea of Chris hijacking a hunter? You are the reason why Umbrella is, vi is as it is. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about, you know, taking the hunter... That's what Umbrella's been thinking this entire time! Put it has not leather, worked yet! Put some leather straps on it, and we ride it. Like that is what Umbrella has been thinking this entire time. Well, and I it doubt has not they've been thinking yet. about using hunters to ride down mountains like donkeys. They've been trying that. They've been trying to create biological weapons and then biological it, tools. All of which has ended up with every base they've made destroyed. It's not a B.O.W. It's a, me with a it's method of transportation. You're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be perfect. <laughs> 
expected that out of Burnside. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Well, this Steve Burnside pays you, so, uh... What the dirt? That's the dirtiest <laughs> money I've ever taken in my life. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what Umbrella Executive said, too. I'm paying you, ding, 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 make me a hunter. <laughs> we'll it looks it like you could crawl in that hole. It, why would you want to crawl through a sewer hole, Elliot? Let me see what's in here. I'm stuck! Oh, shit. Oh, look, a Twix bar. Oh. <laughs> Peanut butter. <laughs> We meet again. Hello there. I'm looking for Chris Redfield. Have you seen him? <laughs> <laughs> and Chris says, fuck you. Smash, bitch! <laughs> we get it. You have some machine guns. <laughs> Wes couldn't tell us about that. What a fucking, <laughs> what a fucking douchebag. I need a keyhole. Hole. So we're going to go back all the way up to the... Uh, well, it's our training facility to get the doorknob. We're gonna need Sora, don't we? No. I wish I had Sora. Sora made this fucking more tolerant. <laughs> I don't know. Sora would have went down after the first hunter. <laughs> He'll think it's a heartless. Yeah, I, I had nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to reach for something to say to contribute, and I was like, Dah. <laughs> Thankfully, I have 200 bullets saved up, otherwise, this would have been a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's a good thing I have 200 bullets, otherwise, that would have been dangerous. <laughs> I always wanted one. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, Chris gets the idea to smack this into a hunter's head, breaks it, then realizes he's kind of foobard. No, really. No, he spends five minutes just playing with the damn things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tank master. No, what he does is that. No, he, he's he, on the he, plane, so he takes it overseas. I'm going to Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, breaks over a hunter's head, and then, like, he uses duct tape or something to, break, to put it back together. Come, Wesker. We'll travel to Antarctica together. Hop in. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mr. Redfield, I do believe you've underestimated. You know what? Fuck it. In we go. <laughs> we. Toot, toot, and Arctic warrior! <laughs> you know, I could have just ran on the ocean just to get to Australia. <laughs> but I like a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till we get to five. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we gotta do multiplayer on five? Because you That's haven't done anything interesting. yet. Yeah, you haven't done anything for the Resident Evil series yet. Everyone's the only one I really played was 4. Well, then you go play 5, too. I've only played 4! Elliot, you don't need to know much difference, alright? The only difference between 4 and 5 is the racism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now, it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with the reading. God damn it, Poochie! Oh. Spy Fox puzzle! Oh, yeah, you're right. What is it? Spy Fox. Like, in the... in Around the late... Around the third... Um, part of the portion of the game, you would have to do this kind of puzzle in, in that game. It's... If it's the same sort of puzzle, it looks like it. Yeah. You have to redirect the lasers? Yeah. Except, that's not what we're doing here at all. Aww. Aww. Alfred realized that there was an underground passage to election, and that's where we're going to be going. Anyway, we now at least have the turntable key. So we're going to head all the way back down to that <laughs> damn turntable. Mix Master Chris is what they called me back in Nom. <laughs> Nom? Mix Master Chris. <laughs> That was what I call Rebecca Chambers with all her medical mixing and shit like that. <laughs> Jill's DJ name was Jilly Rancher. <laughs> <laughs> it's so innocent. <laughs> it's so innocent. <laughs> Jill sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Altoids? <laughs> Not Altoids yet. <laughs> By the way, I would like to point out that I never knew how to get those until my test playthrough before this game. Really? Really, the first time I ever got them. Wow. And you played Symphonia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed, Johnny. I've never been a proud man. Damn. I've never been a proud man. You know, Alfred, you know, Alfred really lets his place go. He blew it off. Yeah, he blew it up. <laughs> <laughs> he lets up go already. <laughs> I have to save Claire, but that box is all the way over there. Which is more important, Claire or the box? Well, on the well, other hand, Claire is my sister. I've been looking after her ever since our parents died in a terrible accident, but boxes. there's the boxes there. Anything could be in it. It could be it even be a mystery. It could either be Claire. Claire could be in that box. Exactly. Hell, it could be better than Claire. It could be a boat. Which I can use to drive to the Antarctic base to save Claire. To go to Australia as well. <laughs> Here it's nice this time of the year. I hope it's Steve's blood. That 
you little shit. <laughs> That's your spider call? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's my spider call. Okay. Hey, yeah, uh, your call. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> You can you can kind of hear. I it. hear. All right, it does sort of similar sound similar to the eight bit Mario jump when he's big. Yeah. Sort of, but. Nah. It maybe like different octaves, I guess. Were you really mimicking the creek or Scooby Doo Zoo? <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> Fuck. I'm hungry. <laughs> For what, Chipotle? Justice. <laughs> Justice. Yeah. <laughs> Hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it! The hunter has become the hunted. Why is no one around when I make these jokes? <laughs> <laughs> I, no, the, the joke sucked. I'm just thinking of when Chris would have said that. <laughs> he vomited on me before he fell and died. That jerk off. <laughs> I thought it was the Mario Jump Door. <laughs> do, 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 I'm just going to call do, do, do. it that now, the Mario Jump Door. I don't know why. Watch out when you get out here, which I didn't do. Oh, god damn it. No, no! Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know why I find that amusing. What was Battle Grunts? Yeah. Was, no. uh, you oh, died! Oh, died. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> By the way, ladies and gentlemen, remember when I last saved? Oh, shit. It's a retry, Matt. Oh! Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Which I forgot to get. To get I apologize. To get that Mountain Dew? Yes. I'll get that later. <laughs> do the do. That's what the key tells me to say, anyway. <laughs> do do. It's not herpes, it's a cold sore. <laughs> That's what I tell myself every night. <laughs> oh, fuck me, there's a safe one right here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ain't that a bitch. Yeah, it's a royal bitch. Ain't that about a bitch? That's a bitch dang. I'm sleeping with the ultimate failure. <laughs> Johnny, how could you say that about me? <laughs> Let's talk more to the typewriter. But <laughs> he writes a journal entry. Three. Three. Seven. I'm suddenly in the mood for Ovaltine. And now you're done. <laughs> Oh, of course. Well, I'd rather take that over a bomb. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> or oval team for that matter. <laughs> Let's proceed on with the mission. That is to get the fuck out of here. Let's <laughs> pursue <laughs> the mission. To beat the game. Never forget the mission. <laughs> if it happened in this game, I would hit you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what we do? Settle it and smash. If this game had a face, I would punch it. Sure, we should make a western me. And a fuck Christian. yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I paid for that thing. Fuck. <laughs> wow. These bullets are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sold me on the gun. <laughs> this is powerful against living things. <laughs> Why are we getting a close-up of the console? Oh, it's a loaded screen. A little <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that shotgun will be mine. <laughs> that's, a, that's a solid Christopher Sedition if he was a twat. <laughs> I can't. No, I only, I only go with what I know because I can't do a Roger Craig Smith impression, so I go with what I know, which is RE1 Chris. That's all you need. <laughs> I guess we got to the root of the problem. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> oh, come on. That was at least cheesy good. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Spiders. Um, That's a thing. Spiders. <laughs> that does make me laugh, dude. <laughs> or at least it's one of my <laughs> You know how to do pillow talk. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm suffocating him with a pillow. <laughs> a la James Sunderland. <laughs> by the by, this here is the most pathetic boss in Resident Evil history. The vagina. Watch as Matt dies to it. What, the vagina? If I fucking die to it, I'm going to stop the playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> Now we've got one last problem. The shotgun. In case you... No. <laughs> These <laughs> boots are tacky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> and now, it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with the reading. It's one of these. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ally decoy.
Now, there was something called the Deploid, which created this to create the storage capsule for the new BOW. It was a, it had excellent resistance to all kinds of liquid, including strong acid, but it easily dissolved when a mixture of the new chemicals, Clement Alpha and Clement Sigma. Due to the lethal nature of the new BOW, we cannot be too careful in choosing the material for the storage capsule. So, the Deployed made to create the plate portion of the Eagle Plate, which shines now in indigo blue. I can already see the Clement related comments in the oh, in today's video. <laughs> there's chemical inside the plate? No, there's two chemicals we need. Chemical Clement Alpha and Clement o uh, Sigma. 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 I'll take that back because I'm not going to need that anymore. I will defeat you, Sigma. One of these rats, one of these days, you rapscallion. <laughs> Let's settle this right here. In right Smash! Oh, damn it. Let's dance, dickweed. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Jesus this Christ. Sigma's blunt. <laughs> <laughs> He really had enough of extra shit. <laughs> <laughs> Always enjoy combining a red and green herb together. And a blue one? Yeah, blue dairy, a... dairy play the gods? Yeah. Now it's Craig. <laughs> now it's mud. <laughs> oh, no, it... It's Vigil. <laughs> now, now, now it looks like shit. <laughs> and he throws it out. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the color alone. <laughs> Here. Claire, you're hurt. Take this herb. No fucking way. <laughs> Why? It's gray. It's not feces. <laughs> Cut. What? Oh, I, I forgot the fucking key. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Why can't I break the glass with my elbow? <laughs> or a gun. Hell, in the future, I'm gonna punch a boulder. <laughs> Claire, Chris has, Chris has clairvoyance? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would have liked that Chris just jabbed the glass with the key. That's <laughs> 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 why key. Hey, get back here. Oh, you want to play leapfrog, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you like leaping on frogs, do you? It's still it's still weird how in those commercials they always address the purple stuff, but they don't know what it is. <laughs> because they're not the ones that bought their kids. Is that Daddy's happy drink? <laughs> yeah. And then Jesus comes <laughs> in. Daddy hey, Jesus. who took my purple stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Jesus juice. Okay. You ever saw that robot chicken skit? Nah. <laughs> and Clement Alpha, which did not require a puzzle. Nope. That is right fucking there. Now you have the Clement mixture. Purple stuff. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the chemical key far away Leave from the chemical no work lab. No stone sense. left unturned. No zens. <laughs> or else. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, excuse me. No witnesses. Matt, you left that stone unturned. This means you get hit with the riding crop. <laughs> Looks like it's five in the eyes for you. <laughs> Jupiter. Juniper. That's the name of the street. Yeah, I know. Jupiter. Jutiper. This is Chris's inner dialogue, by the way. Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought I was going to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I made it to Antarctica. Here's a bronze for my efforts. <laughs> So how much do we have left? What the hell? I'll be honest, I thought that was a, I thought that was a tentacle. I thought it, it is was a tentacle. A, it is a tentacle. Well, I thought it was like a root. Something ingrown. This really is the root of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think I put the halberd in. Like we need that. Oh good. Now we got all Claire's on his back. No, we don't. I saw the combat knife. No, actually, I had that the whole time. I stocked it early. Oops. Uh -huh. <laughs> but none of that compares to what I consider the greatest challenge in making this video. I'm not talking about the undead dragon inside the painting world of the battle with the four kings. I'm not even talking about Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Child's play, when compared to the horrors of fun with the DD. Alfred's diary. Apparently here, Alfred learns of a sealed room inside the facility. So he finally managed to get into said sealed room and discovered a horrible secret about him and Alexia. Hmm? Apparently now he hates his father and just drove. This started drove him mad. Driven. Driven. Thank you. I used the wrong. Past tense. So Past Alexia simple. and Alfred are one and the same. No. No. The brother and sister. Clones. No. no. Sor sorcery, like Shang Tsung with Melina and Katana. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if Chris just slipped? Something that right ends that alone. game. Yeah, <laughs> something right out of home alone. You are dead. <laughs> Flee with the shadow gate. Game over theme. 
<laughs> the Grim Reaper waits below to catch you. <laughs> you get the Magnum because it's the Magnum. It's Resident Evil custom. Barry I don't entirely one. abide by that rule, though, in 4. Barry had one. Yeah, who the hell didn't use the broken butterfly in that game? I never... I never... Uh, one or, once or twice. Okay, see, this is why there's tension between everybody in the world. Because you need to take a butterfly. <laughs> it sure is mighty chilly in here. <laughs> I can go for a bowl of chili? <laughs> no? Anybody? What about you, Wesker? Chris, shut the fuck up. <laughs> he, just, he just runs and hits him in the back of the head and runs back. <laughs> Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I'll have to tolerate you anymore. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Bullets! That's it. <laughs> what a letdown. It's an absolute letdown. That, that sucks! I mean, it's not like you need bullets to survive or anything. Uh, Elliot, mind you, we're at a point where the handgun's about to get dumped. Yeah, I know. Maybe one of these has the golden bullet, so I can go to Willy Wonka's bullet factory. <laughs> I, I was gonna name him Honky Tonk Bullet Factory. Honky Tonk. <laughs> we gotta get a second valve, then. No, we gotta get that valve. That valve but we already cut it into you, a circle. You, wait, yup. You can't be serious. So how do yep. we put it back in a square? We gotta add the parts again. Yup. Ah. Uh, this is getting unnecessary. This is getting unnecessarily long. If only I had a Rubik's cube. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you probably you probably sit there trying to solve it. No, I think Ellie just had a revelation. Yeah, I did. A Resident Evil revelation. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'll be here all week. <laughs> Try the veal. Chris ain't even fucking impressed, like... Oh, yeah, none on. of us are! Unless something happens specifically with these. We've seen this shit before. This is not impressive. How did it... That oh, okay, how ice? the hell? That ice seems pretty friggin' thick. That was quite a bit of a hole that he dug himself out of. Oops! <laughs> Signal flare, go! <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what it was there? I thought I had my shotgun equipped. <laughs> They really fun. hate their heads. <laughs> <laughs> See, this wouldn't have happened to them if they wore hard hats. <laughs> Elliot, if that's the point of the hard hats of wearing zombies in this game, I'm going to be utterly absurd. <laughs> absurd? It'll be utterly absurd. Oh, I thought you said you would be absurd. <laughs> I said say that, I'm just catching myself. <laughs> no! <laughs> damn it! Damn it! Damn! It doesn't even decapitate them, though. No squishy squish. Walking Dead did it better. <laughs> Resident Evil's 1 through 3 did it better. You have not seen it. Yeah, it's satisfying when you fucking kick a zombie's head off like it's a football. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> you see Wesker, it's good. Go! <laughs> That's gonna kick. That's gonna... <laughs> That's your new... <laughs> For me, that's your new Vatic Depressive Luigi. I love it. <laughs> I can like imagine. Meanwhile, I'm bleeding to death. I don't know why I could like imagine like Chris is holding the zombie's head while it's down, and then Jill kicks it. <laughs> or Jill, or they try to replicate it with Jill and Chris, and so Jill puts it away like whoop, like a Charlie Brown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> That's for years of humiliation, bitch. Good grief. <laughs> I, I guess you could say I sweeped him off his feet. <laughs> Damn it, I'm fucking lonely. <laughs> be like Steve and then cross the guns together. I don't want to be like just, Steve. Just Nobody so wants I, to be like just Steve. Just to show that you're quote unquote badass. Nobody ever. Hey, get 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 off me! No one was to, no one wants to be a Steve. Hasta buenvenidos, Senor Hufflepuff. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> You need to work on your one lighters, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you, but you butchered saying via con Dios. <laughs> you said Senor Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Hufflepuff anyway? Harry Potter? <laughs> the, 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 the one class that one gave a fuck about. Yeah, and Harry Potter. Ravenclaw at least sounded badass. Hufflepuff yeah. is no, Jigglypuff. No, Gryffindor, Gryffindor <laughs> Slytherin, and Ravenclaw sounded badass. Hufflepuff just sounds like a, just like, sounds like a Cheeto snack. Oh, yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> yeah. 
What you the don't re- know the is location that, of the real Lost City of Atlantis. What you don't know is that Claire is actually the name of a jewel that Chris named. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I'm going to name you Claire. I'm looking for Claire. Your sister? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My what? Actually, oh, yeah. I'm looking for E-Claire. <laughs> <laughs> And now, it is once again time for Eat Johnny. a dick, you sick muppet! Queen a research ants? report on a queen ant. Oh. After okay. discovering the remains of an ancient virus within the genes of a queen ant, I have been concentrating on the research of ants. Have you ever owned ants? They don't do fucking nothing. <laughs> the ecosystem of the ants is truly ideal to me. There's a queen ant, and then the soldier and worker ants are the queen slaves, dedicating their lives to the queen. I don't think Alexa understands the role of a queen ant in the ant society, but okay. <laughs> The death of the queen ant means the doom of the entire ant hill. However, if nobody fucks the queen ant, the entire ant hill doesn't repopulate anyway. So basically, the whore. The soldier and worker ants are replaced as long as the queen ant's alive. The same relationship between myself and the other ignorant masses. What? <laughs> what is she, a gamer game supporter? The queen is a whore and we respect it. <laughs> I have succeeded in creating an ideal virus by implementing the queen ant gene into the mother virus that Spencer found. What? Spencer? Yeah, basically the T virus that they that her and the uh, first Asher found, that one of the other senior Ashers found, not the first one. The t- the father was used to the test subject. That was, so that thing we fought back at the helipad. That was no to. Yeah. So of course, because of the T virus and nobody learns a fucking thing, he went and became a zombie, and he created a poison gas that the blue urban no effect against. So because of this, there's an antidote in the emergency, and the serums on the warehouse of the B two floor. The virus is now known as T Veronica, and that's Alexa's little baby. Veronica's kind of a catchy name, though. I love it. Veronica. That's a nice name. Or Veronica. Or Napoleon. <laughs> the Napoleon. The T-Napoleon virus. The T-Napoleon? Yeah. There's an evil code T- Napoleon. T-Napoleon. Yeah, then it, but you instead know, of, like... You know, you know Tina? Yeah. Napoleon? Oh, uh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, whatchamacallit. Yeah, it would have been nice, except, you know, instead of making them zombies, everybody would have just went, GORSH! A lot more. <laughs> There's an evil cold Napoleon. I don't want to get some coffee. Gosh. Uh, just a picture of Salazar from Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? What the hell? And she stuck Alfred in there. Maybe he's taking 15 years of cold sleep will wake him up. That said, dingly dingly. Let's, st- let's steal his watch. <laughs> Close for stealing his ring. And then he comes back as a zombie. Why do we feel compelled to take that? Huh? Why do we feel compelled to take that? It's a nice ring. He's not going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink. It's a nice accessory for the, it's a nice accessory for the wake. <laughs> <laughs> a biohazard symbol is carved under the keyhole. Uh, I think that's lost in translation. It should have been Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody ever got the idea to use the item box as a teleportation device? No. No. Not once. One day. <laughs> You'll see. It'll be like Doctor Who. In the eventual Resident Evil reboot. Yeah. The law Washington- sky wallpaper to hide the fact that they're in the middle of fucking nowhere. With a law Washington monument on it. Hmm? That, that blue sky wallpaper that was so fucking shoddy. Who would fall for? Alfred would probably fall for that. It's Alfred t- totally did. <laughs> Alexa saw right through it because yeah. she's a super genius. You can't put the Truman it, Show it, on it, Alex. It's yeah. tacky. It's a tacky? It's tacky. I could not have agreed more. <laughs> now this boss, if you stay and fight it, can actually be a bit of a trouble. Is Unless any... you know you have an automatic, because the automatic will chump this thing. Is there any incentive? No. That's pointless. One less spider problem. But then uh, that's completely pointless. Exactly. No, one less spider problem. You got arachnophobia, you're doing the world a favor through your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the final solution to deal with that bug. <laughs> that was an awful bug. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hail stars. <laughs> I guess I gotta give him the 409 on how to deal with this thing. The cleaner? Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, the cleaner is not the bug spray. It's effective. In Bizarro World. And, and spiders are arachnids, not bugs. And what's an arachnid? A member of the insect family. Bug. Ellie just gave me... John, would you please slap this motherfucker in the eyes? (laughs) No! What the fuck? Not Chris's leg! (laughs) (laughs) Well, that was the voice actor. (laughs) 
and then Chris when she's gone. Ah! Okay, we don't need that going on for like three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, you'll see. It's it's also one of the game's finer dick moments. Uh, so. They're finer dick moments. Yeah. Hmm. Look at that fine dick. <laughs> Holy mother! That's my Metroid alarm. I installed back in 2010 after the ran. Put it on screen. All right. And now it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with reading. The Astro family's most important secret is kept in the lab, so we have a self-destruct device in the control room. Okay. And I wrote it down in this diary. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's input, all door locks are released to provide easy access to the escape route, so at least he thought of his men. Claire. Steve? Steve? Yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> You're so dead! You're fucking dead! You're out of here! Turn! 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 You do sit your ass down now. <laughs> so that was the best cutscene in all of Resident Evil history right there. And Chris takes time to admire the world. <laughs> like, what the hell is he doing? Oh. Oh. <laughs> really? Not even the fucking trophy system like Steve. <laughs> I did say Emily, right? Not Emily. Emily. Yeah. And she's down for the count. Nice. Really? No. It's a magnum. Yeah. And just like that, her plot blood dries up. <laughs> <laughs> What's in here? Great background. <laughs> what happens to the yeah, what happens to the fucking mansion? What wait? Did we happen to cat did we just jump into Captain N? No. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get serious. <laughs> and now it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with reading. The Co Veronica report. After many long years of research, uh, apparently Alf. Uh, what was the father's name again? Ross Alexander <laughs> inherit, identified the inheritance element that administers the intelligence of man. Wasn't it Edward? No, Edward was the grandfather. Uh oh. Okay. I have even succeeded in manipulating the absolute value of intelligence artificially by recomposing the base alignment of the element. If you're imagining bullshit all over this journal, I don't blame you in the slightest. <laughs> he then sampled the gene of the great ancestor, manipulated its element, then implanted it into the unfertilized egg of a surrogate mother. So Elliot was right. They're clones. Yeah. By and large, products of technical incest, because when this, during this process, and this is explained in something different, in something other kind of a manual, the the entire DNA sequence of the mother of the egg was overridden, so it's all Veronica and, Al and Alexander here all the time. Yeah. So basically, we're sort of dealing with Veronica. What the, what's a plan, however, was that a boy and a girl was born. The boy had higher intelligence than normal, but not high enough for him to be considered a genius. Also a bit... Also a bit daft in the head. <laughs> you're smart, but you're not that smart. <laughs> yeah. The girl had unmatched intelligence that allowed her to be classified as a genius. So basically, out. So basically, Umbrella allowed ten-year-olds to work for them. Okay. Well then. Damn it. Uh, of course it is. Wait, did it say it was like formed the other side? Did it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Holy I'm shit. telling you, this game was fucking wrong. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, they didn't even cow cow by their typos. I really don't even think they gave two shits about this game, to be honest. <laughs> Good eye, Elliot. <laughs> There's a typewriter here if you need to save your game, which I will be using eventually. <laughs> eventually? Yeah. I have my case of writer's block. <laughs> How do I save game here? <laughs> Wait, actually, you know what? I think I can. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. Well, not, you don't have to come. We're not going far. So why did I say that? I don't know. I had twat. Don't turn that dial. Dial? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get flame rounds, at least. Flame on, baby. No asshole. That's not how it goes on my script. 
I don't know why, like, if you're able to, fit, to fill up the entire box, it would be like a giant toy chest. You're, like, trying to, like, go through everything, and you have to take some out to find what you Where's that confounded Lego piece? <laughs> and where's that damn fourth emerald? <laughs> oh, shit. I just went out of the doorway that has a destroyed staircase. Yep. <laughs> I thought you were going to walk right off it. Ah! <laughs> 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 the door that leads. That's okay! <laughs> they shut down the entire place just to convince the kids it's fucking bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> it's 8 a.m. 8 p.m. Time to cut the power. <laughs> but sir, we got some more work to do. My kids need to go to bed, sir. It's 5 p.m. Do you know where your kids are? Yeah, Antarctica. Where else are they going to go? <laughs> So did someone go back to go to America to rebuild the entire like Spencer Mansion for the first one? I wouldn't be surprised if there's some I know there's Minecraft mods to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta work out those glutes. I'm definitely gonna have thirty five play coins by the end of this playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> What's a play coin? What's a three DS? No, I'm sorry, ten. <laughs> I thought we were playing reverse. <laughs> hmm, I think it's telling me to hail Satan. <laughs> Alright, so you have a dragonfly. Nice. What do I do with it? <laughs> do you throw out the window and let it fly? <laughs> <laughs> Go free, my young dragonfly. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think there's some kind of symbology, like, Alf, like Alexander knew his daughter was going to be a fucking Fruit Loop. So... <laughs> Ooh, what kind of fruit loop? Orange. Quiet, Topher. You know, they all taste the same, right? Now we've entered New Jack City. <laughs> what? New Jack City? That's the name of the movie. Yeah. What was that? It was a pretty good movie, actually. Was it called New Jack City? Yeah. yeah that's, about New Jack. Hell yeah that's why I called it New Jack City. <laughs> Who was in it? Cause I, don't, I never heard it's, of it. It's uh, Wesley, L Wesley L. Jackson. Wesley. <laughs> Wesley Snipes. <laughs> Yeah. Wesley L. Jackson, you fucking racist prick. Wesley Actually, L. Jackson. Actually, gotta tell you, Morgan Freeman is the same guy, too. <laughs> what Ice tea and Ice the, uh... Cube. <laughs> ice tea, Ice Cube. They both have ice in their name. <laughs> tea. You get tea pain and ice tea, tea, tea ice. <laughs> the tea cube. <laughs> sounds like a virus. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a paperweight. Believe it or not, that was the first draft they had when going into Resident Evil 5. The name is something that cultural audiences can relate to. What were they gonna call it? TQ virus. T oh, no, I doubt that. But of course you doubt that. That was a lie. <laughs> All the electronic locks might be deactivated. <laughs> oh. Way to go, Matt. <laughs> the walk of shame. <laughs> and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk. <laughs> Wait, why do I have a picture of Henry VIII? <laughs> okay then. Claire, this is Betamax. <laughs> huh. There's oh. a door here. <laughs> you used the dragonfly on it. Yeah, I just forgot the door was there. <laughs> you have to place the dragonfly where it belongs to get the fuck out. <laughs> Enter the security code to blow up Antarctica. Fathom, I guess. Password? <laughs> Fuck you, Antarctica. <laughs> Password. Vonage. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no space. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Aw, oh, fuck, uh, uh, <laughs> fuck you, A. Fuck you, A. That should be the thumbnail. <laughs> I wonder what the password to Batman security system is. Let me try Batman. <laughs> Thomas and Martha Wayne. <laughs> what kind Joe of chill? Well, what kind of guy. super secret password would Catman use? C A T. Oh, she's a dragonfly. The thing she ripped apart. Huh. Yeah, you are a queen ant. Chris is unimpressed. <laughs> Three out of ten. <laughs> would not <laughs> Would Bang. not magnum again. <laughs> the year is 1983, and I fear my one and only daughter has become obsessed with the Veronica virus. 
Chris, use this. <laughs> Pick me up, Tofer. <laughs> what? And that's it for a lecture. That's a good thing to blow no longer fire. Yeah, seriously. Woof! <laughs> <laughs> Metal Age shit. Fuck you. <laughs> he doesn't have time for a cheesy one liner. He just. <laughs> <laughs> And that's how Chris takes care of Wesker. A home alone skip. I gotta say, <laughs> I caused quite the god damn it. Let's finish this once and for all. Fuck yeah, get out of here. And that with that is the end of the Ashford family legacy. And what a legacy. Yeah, one of incest, cloning, and ants. Ah. Well then, that was a Resident Evil game. Apparently. <laughs> Final thoughts. Fuck this. You know, I'm sorry, uh, it's just like... If you were gonna do like a side story about one of the founding fathers of Umbrella, you could have done a hell of a lot better than a fucking pseudo-incest. Batshit characters, unbelievable characterization, a love plot forced on Claire with all the subtlety of a jackhammer. Clumsy gunplay. Now, some of it was my fault, I'll cut the game that sort of slack. But imagine going into this scene your first time when you get fucking badly lost like that. Fetch quest upon fetch quest, upon fetch quest upon fetch quest, reused fetch quest at that. And even at the end where you could clearly tell they ran out of time in the fucking development area. And Steve Burnside. That said, if you like this game, I'll respect your opinion on that, just don't force me to watch you play it. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know how I feel about this. This is definitely a step down from Resident Evil 3. This is this is a step like, down into the fucking abyss from Resident Evil 3. <laughs> like, like, I, like... Anything good about... Oh, no, I can't say good soundtrack. <laughs> well, yeah. It's pretty much one of the only things. And, again, the copy and paste, like, it really shows that they didn't really care a lot about this. They really fucking didn't care about this game. Hell, you just saw it earlier when I had Claire stand in motion and circle around. She just circled around like a ragdoll. Like, not a ragdoll. You ever see, like, one of those twirly ballerina things? Yeah. Yeah. One of those things. Oh, okay, then. You know, like a music box doll? Yeah. In terms of narrative, it seemed they s sacrificed substance for stylization. Which I don't think works in Resident Evil, well, classic Resident Evil. Because... You know, well, not to say that the original games had substance. All every Resident Evil story up to this point. In At time, least you could close your. It, it wasn't. It wasn't blatantly telling you its plot was shit. This one here just made no compromise. You know, we got a lot of action. We got a lot of explosions and possible odds sort of shit. Full of Harrier. <laughs> you know that uh that kind of like ups the ante in a lot of ways. But I think they lost something on the transition. They did, and it's also holding the template on for the grading system. Like, in a game like this, if you were, in the classic games, you were always able to get a higher grade just by following the template they wanted you to do, no problem. Here, it's like, you've got a lot to risk if you're going for that A rank, and when you lose, you fucking feel the loss. And that's not really endearing to me, that just means, ugh, back through all this shit twice. On the other hand, a plus of... I give a solid A grade to Allison Court for her voice actor for doing the best she can. Michael Fibowicz, uh, whatever. I didn't even notice Steve's in the fucking credits. Uh, uh, Bill Houston. Bill Houston. <laughs> Bill Houston. Bill Houston? Yeah. Bill Houston, yes. Yes, that was his, this was his only role as voice actor. Oh, oh, oh. It's Steve Burnside. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like being a band and, and being a one-hit wonder and your one-hit wonder is a cover. And your one hit wonder is fucking. It's one hit one. Yeah, it's one hit wonder if your one hit is shit. You are the history lesson we need so that we learn not to do it again. What goes. Um. I really I don't, think don't the like this game. I don't think the T Veronica virus ever brings up, is ever brought up again, is it? Yeah, it is. 
I think it's in a Dark Side Chronicles where Javi. I forget. I didn't even play that one too well. But basically, it's when Leona Krauser are fighting a T Veronica infection uh, outbreak that occurred somewhere in. Was it Cuba? It was after the events of Veronica, though. It's not after the events of Veronica. It's between four and. Uh, it's before four, though. Hi, how can it be? A- You're right. It is after Veronica. <laughs> it, to, it would have to be after Veronica. <laughs> the, really, this is a game I just wouldn't go back to, at all. You know what I? I only did it for this place, or I'll probably never touch it again. And we get, and we finally got this out of the way, really. Yeah, getting it out of the way, I guess, is the best thing to come out of this. Even yeah. though it's not, it's not a terrible game. It's just oh, it's com- bad. Well, you you could it, say it's outright bad. I, I can't say anything because I haven't played the game yet. I wouldn't say terrible either. At least fu- it functions. Yeah. It, it's functional. But it's just, structurally it's, speaking, it's, 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 really a, it's a step backwards. It's the same structure done in the classic games, but it's not. it didn't apply any contextual analysis to that as well. Basically, doing something without realizing what you're doing different in this game compared to the template and realizing the template isn't going to uphold for this. And is it kind of bad that the, that most of the voice acting actually is worse than Resident Evil 1? Steve Burnside immediately comes to mind? Not only Steve Burnside. Well, Steve Burnside. Claire, nope. I think, is just as proficient as in 2. Claire is as proficient as she yeah, was Yeah, but in like, two. There, there were some Chris pretty, is, like, there were some Chris pretty, like, down. none of it's A+. Plus. It never was, but no, it never I, was. I think, you can't I think, even really find much to laugh at But here. it's not even B. I think, no, I think throughout this entire thing, Wesker was the best one. No, but you can't even find too much to laugh with here, you yeah. know? I'm going to get enough ranking, Alfred. but Maybe I can't give a shit. Maybe Alfred. I think Alfred was the best part. Alfred F5 is the best part. Alfred yeah. here is just sort of... Dull. Yeah, yeah, give me my F. That's so much for going on. You're wearing the same thing that I rescued you, and I swear. That thing smells really uh, bad. L- l- let's go to the Best Buy first, and then we'll deal with Umbrella. Oh, you got a D. <laughs> yeah, we'll... Okay. D for dickweed. Bottle game! He gave you that D. I'll show that off at another time, guys. Until then, I'm Matt. I'm Johnny. I'm Elliot. Hoping you never play this game again. Well, you're a bitch! You're a bitch!